I thought we'd got burglars. It's only just gone half five. How long have you got up? About an hour. <laughs> Conscience. Oh, lay off Stan, will you? Everybody gets a cup of tea in bed now. I have to get up early. That's nice. You're included. Thanks. Cheryl. Hmm? What's bothering you? No job. That all? Well, isn't it enough? It'd be more than enough for most people. Yeah. Well, what Dad said yesterday about you walking out on Seager because you made a pass at you. That wasn't how it happened, was it? You've got a pretty low opinion of me, haven't you? You went to live with him. What do you expect me to think? We shared a flat above the shop. That's not the same thing. Oh, come on, Sheila. I'm not sitting in judgment. I'm just saying that Dad's got the wrong end of the stick while you left. You're not sitting in judgment because you've already made one thinking what you think. All right. Then I'm not moralizing. Mm, Stan Harvey, the big-hearted liberal. Watch it, Sheila. Look, Stan, I may be a bitch, but I'm a choosy bitch. I wouldn't touch Jake Seeger with one of those barge poles out there. You went with him. Do you like the firm that you work for? Well, what's that got to do with it? You went with them. Do you want a cup of tea? Mm. So, uh, so what are you going to do? Ask Vera for my old job back. Oh. Well, Stan, we all have to eat humble pie, each according to his taste. And the name? Thank you. Uh, will you uh, write confirming that, please? Thank you very much. Bye. Hello, how's Rome? Hello. Great. How are things with you? Coping. Any sign of the mail yet? Well, give it a chance. It's only just nine o'clock. Oh, yeah. Well, I must get going. I've got Mrs. Richardson due in a minute. Everything all right, Vera? Yes, of course. Why shouldn't it be? Oh, you seem a bit uh, preoccupied. Well, as a matter of fact, hey, Mr. You're back soon. Oh, yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah, great, thanks. Uh, you were saying? Uh, but... Nothing. It's nothing. See you in a minute, Jill. Well, you certainly look better for it. Mm hmm. The holiday. Uh, yeah. Maybe, but I don't feel better. I've got a cold since I got oh, back. Oh, no. I hear you've moved back to the Harveys. Oh, you've heard about Widow End, then? Yeah. Looks as though Vince is going to have a white elephant on his hands. Mm. Somebody talking about me again? You <laughs> must be joking. Hey, by the way, I took a salon cancellation for you earlier. Uh, Mrs. Phillips, I think. Oh, thanks. Well, I hope you're both going to be around for my big surprise today. What's this? Wouldn't be a surprise if I told you, would it? I shall be in the dining room if anybody wants me. What's he talking about? Search me, but he's been grinning from ear to ear ever since I got back. Have you uh, met this new waitress, Jane Smith? Oh, the computer dating girl. I beg your pardon? Well, that's how he first met her, through the computer dating services. Really? I wonder if this surprise he's talking about has got something to do with that. Excuse me. Crossroads Motel. And then I met her husband. Well, after all the things she'd said about him, I was expecting something like Tarzan at the very least. <laughs> Turned out to be a little man with glasses who looked like a mouse. <laughs> well, appearances can be deceptive. True. Well, you've done a marvellous job. Oh, just finished, have you? Just this minute. Oh, it looks super. Mm, doesn't it? Thanks, isn't it? Oh, Sheila asked me to tell you she wants to come and see you this morning. Was Sheila back again? Yeah, the night before last. Oh, nobody told me. Oh, I'm sorry, Mum, I was in such a rush. Oh, it doesn't matter. It'd be nice to see her again. Vera, ask her to come in and say hello, would you? Yeah, sure. She didn't happen to mention what she wanted to see me about, did she? I'll get it. Hello? Look, I'm getting a bit fed up with this. If you've got something you want to say, why don't you say it? Go away. Somebody's idea of a practical joke. Oh, I see. Only I don't find it very funny. Yeah, we gathered that. In fact, it's beginning to get me down. How long has it been going on? Some days. It's so stupid, really. They never say anything. Just wait there at the end of the line. Wait, what for? 
You mean to lose my temper? Well, I don't know. Oh, I suppose I'll get fed up with it sooner or later. Have you reported it to the police? No. I mean, what's the point? It's bound to stop eventually, isn't it? Oh, well, that's up to you, of course. <clears throat> well, I'm set on. See you later, Mum. Yes, love. Bye. Are you all right, Vera? Oh, I'm fine, aren't I? <laughs> Just scared out of my wits, that's all. I've been thinking very seriously about the future. Our future. No, that's no good. Sounds like I'm taking too much for granted. I'd be far more subtle than that. What I'm really trying to say is... What are you trying to say? Oh, uh, hello, Mick. Rehearsing after dinner speech? Uh, well, uh, no, not exactly. Ah, well, whatever it is, I'll leave you to it. Uh, just, just a minute, Meg. Yes, Timothy. Um, it, it was something you said the other day about it being time I settled down. Did I say that? Yes, more or less. And you're absolutely right, of course. I'm, I'm far too old to go on living out of a suitcase, and I'm tired of being of no fixed abode. Now, what I need is a home and the right woman to share it with me. Now you're talking sense. Yes, well, I, I, I think I've found the right woman. Have you? Yeah, at least I hope I have. Ah, oh, Timothy. Oh, Meg, surely you must understand what I'm trying to say. Oh, Meg, uh, there's a chap in reception asking for his bill. Uh, sorry, Sport, am I uh, interrupting anything? Yes, you are. Again? Uh, well, I'm sorry, uh, Timothy. Oh. You keep on thinking about settling down and the right woman. Does this man want his bill made up? Well, it's about this one. Goodbye, Mrs. Atkins. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank Bye. you. Are you going to answer it? You answer it. Hello, Salon here. Oh, hello, Mrs. Parks. Where have you been? Been anywhere nice, have you? Oh, you are lucky being able to get away at this time of year. Yes, uh, you want to make an appointment? Yes, uh, just a minute. Now, Wednesday. Uh, yes, uh, 11.30 suit you. OK, fine. Bye. Perfectly ordinary telephone booking. I really am going to pieces, aren't I? Come on, I'll do your hair now. Morning, Vera. Hello. Did Jill tell you that I wanted to see you? Yeah, she did mention it. Oh, well, um, I wanted a word. I'll go and get you both coffee, shall I? Well, well, thanks. I saw Mrs Atkins leaving the motel. You've still got your regulars. And some new ones. Oh, business is good then. Well, I wouldn't say that exactly, but it is improving. Oh, that's good. Well, what did you want to see me about? Well, I wondered if there was any chance of my getting my old job back. I see. Yes, I I've left Jake Seeker. I won't be going back there. You were right about him. I'll say that for you. Thanks. So I, I need a job now. I I'm in a bit of a hole. When do I start? You don't. I'm sorry, Sheila, but I can't afford to take on any more staff at the moment. Jill's only part-time as it is. There's no chance, then. Sorry. Hey. The thing is, now, of course, I was going to tell Cliff Layton. Will you do it, or shall I? Oh, well, look, would you, David? I've got so much on. Yes, yeah, sure, but I... Do you see what I see? Morning. 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 Sit down, Mum. Now walk away. <laughs> Isn't that fun? How does it work? Well, you know, Tom Cook, Dave and I were working on an idea to try and make the wheelchair elevate. Yeah. Well, Tom saw that chair advertised, so uh, here we are. Well, I think it's fantastic. But we're still working on the hydraulic wheelchair. Watch this. Fantastic! David? Uh, yeah? Could you pull the machinery out so Mum can have a look at it? Yeah, you? sure. Actually, we're still working on the motor because... Uh, at the moment... At the moment, it still takes about three minutes to elevate, but uh, we're working on it. This is the lever you operate it with. Great! Hey, can I have a go on that one? Yeah, yeah, sure. You yeah, go on, it's marvellous. Suits you? <laughs> it's a bit like being in the dentist. That's...
There we are. The new Mrs. Harvey. Oh, it's super, Vera. Just what I wanted. Hey, do you think Stan will like it? Can I interest you in a wig? Oh, shut up. <laughs> I've drawn up this provisional contract, Cliff. But I'd like you to look at it before sending it off to the solicitor. That's your copy. Well, it looks fine. I'll hang on to it, if I may, Mr. Hunter. Go through it later in detail. Uh, yes, do. There's one thing I'm not altogether happy about. Huh? Well, I do see your arguments for using second-hand cars, but I think it might be a false economy. I'd prefer to have uh, fewer cars and new cars. Well, put the initial cost up a bit. Yeah. Do some research. Get accurate figures about the cost of new cars as compared with second-hand cars, bearing in mind maintenance costs and so on. When we get that, we can go ahead, right? Right. Well, I'll go into Birmingham, see what I can dig up. Oh, there's no need. We have a garage here. Talk to our foreman. I'm sure he'll be able to give you all the information you need. Of course, I've forgotten all about Tom Cook. Yeah, or we'll see what he says. Hmm? Then, when we have these details fixed, we're in business. Great. Well, I'd better make a start. Oh, uh, Mr. Hunter? Yes? I know you're taking a bit of a chance doing this, and... Well, I've, I just want you to know I appreciate it. Nonsense. It's a very good idea. Lots of people wouldn't listen to an idea from an ex-con. Well, that is their loss. As far as I'm concerned, you're a businessman. And so am I. Yeah, well, all the same, you've given me a break, and... Well, I... Thanks. Uh, give those three to Sandy, would you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, what about these cafeteria lists? Oh, yes. What do you think of her? Isn't she a beaut? Lovely. And she's mine. Ah, oh, come on, Kevin. It's the truth. All 37 feet of her. Motor cruiser, Huntsman class. The only thing I salvaged from the marina job. A sort of golden handshake? Well, if you like, but legally, she's mine. Now, I want to take her down to the Met, North Africa. Or better still, the Greek islands. Think of it, Meg. Spring in the Aegean, the wine dark sea, Vikanos, Delos, and then across to Crete. Well, what about it? You're a lucky man. Well, I want you to come with me. But I can't leave this place. Oh, come on. It's no fun on my own, Meg. Let's have one wild last crazy fling before we settle down. Who's settling down? Well, I certainly think it's about time both of us got settled. You know, I don't know what this rush is to settle down all of a sudden. First of all, Timothy. Now you. Yeah? Well, what about you? Me? Hmm. I'm not going to settle down. Uh, Hello. Hello. Where's Dad? He's gone down to the club for his pint of supper. But are you going to say something? Mm. Look, my hair. Oh, the... Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose I'd better get on with our supper. Yeah, well, not for me. Is that why the table ain't laid? If you like. How did you get on with Vera? Nobody gets on with Vera. No job, eh? You know perfectly well. No. I haven't mentioned it. I thought there were no secrets between you. Don't be childish. No, teacher. Look, what did Vera say? Well, in a couple of words. Buzz off, or was it Hoppet? Anyway, I got the message. She gave me the elbow, all right? Is that all she said? She said I was a naughty girl for walking out on her and that she didn't owe me a living. And anyway, she could manage perfectly well with part-timers. You're not blaming on to Jill, are you? Oh, Stan, I'm sorry you didn't get fixed up, Sheila. Don't worry about it. Look, that's enough. You've got nobody to blame on it yourself. Look, you'll get a job. Yes, why not? Even if it's only scrubbing floors. After all, I am a scrubber, aren't I, Stan? Hey, Dave. Thanks, Kev. It all helps. But he couldn't stick around for a while. What do you mean, stick around? I'm not going anywhere. Oh, sorry. Timothy Hunter said that you wouldn't be here much longer. Oh, did he? Well, uh, don't take any notice of the old boy. He gets a bit, uh, confused up here. <laughs> Listen, uh, I think he's got his eye on Meg Richardson. You mean marriage? Yeah. Well. What do you mean, well? I mean, a woman like Meg, she needs, a uh, well, a younger bloke. Morning, Dave. Morning, Kevin. Uh, morning, Mr. Morning, Hunter. Uh, 
Sophia. I'm just talking about Meg. Oh, yeah, wasting your time, old man. I'm wasting my time. What have you got to offer? Rather more than you, I fancy. For one thing, I... <laughs> what are you two plotting now? Plotting? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. No, nothing. Nothing. Ah. Uh, Dave, don't forget to give me that stock list before I go away. Okay, Mrs. Richardson. Go away? Going away? Mm hmm It's a conference of ateliers over at the Droitwich. I'm leaving on Friday. But I thought you said you were up to your eyes in work. Ah, yes, but David's back now, so he can cope with everything here. Well, uh, when are you coming back? Oh, I don't know. It's hard to say. I'll be away a week, certainly, perhaps two. Uh, you must both come over and dine with me one evening. So, she didn't take it very well. It's understandable. Still, that's no reason to take it out on you. Well, she wasn't really. I bet she didn't see it from my point of view. I mean, I don't run this salon to provide employment for her when she feels like it. It's supposed to be a profit-making concern. Those sound like Admiral Hawke's sentiments. Well, well, well. Good morning, Mr. Gilbert. Isn't it very pleasant for the time of year? Are you free for a minute, Miss Dannon? Yeah, I suppose I could be. Glad to hear it. Oh, Jill, get us a cup of coffee, would you? I suppose you'd better make it too. If you like. I can't imagine what you and I have got to say to one another. You know, I get the distinct impression that young lady doesn't like me. I wonder why that is. Well, you've never exactly gone out of your way to make yourself popular, have you? If I've made mistakes in the past, it's been me that's had to pay for them, hasn't it? Not always, no. Oh, yes. I've paid the price and I've learned my lesson. You want a touch or something? Definitely not. I very much landed on my feet, as you might say. You amaze me. My various enterprises seem to be getting better than ever lately. Well, what do you want? Just to put a little business your way, that's all. What sort of business? Wilf told me you gave him a very good haircut. <laughs> I thought you might like to do the same for me, if you've time. Oh, is that all? Well, you'd better sit down then. Aren't you going to answer it? No. No. 